The government expects the first beneficiaries of its affordable housing program to turn the key to new homes by September. It was announced during an open house today that more than 400 homes will be constructed in areas including Fire Trail Road, Carmichael and South Beach as the government seeks to restart a housing initiative on hold for the past five years. Keishla Adderley leads us off tonight. The Department of Housing Affordable Housing Construction Program is officially on its way to building housing for Bahamians. Housing Minister Jo Beth Colby Davis is building confidence among hundreds seeking affordable housing with a wide range of options on the table. The first is 43 lots in an upscale community in South Beach called Pine Crest. Using our PPP initiative, the necessary infrastructure will also be put in place while houses are being constructed. These homes will cost from 167 to 182,000. The other areas will be portions of Dignity Garden subdivisions and the Fire Trail subdivision, as well as a number of lots on scattered sites in the inner city. These houses will be constructed by our small contractors and paid for by the government by mobilization and stage payments. The cost of the houses on these lots will range from 110,000 to 160,000. The largest project will take place in Carmichael Village. There are about 365 lots. The infrastructure work has just been about been completed in phase one and will begin for phase two shortly. Construction partners will include those investing their own funds and bearing the financial risk to build in areas where there's already infrastructure. Others will be tied into a government program. We have established our small contractors program. This initiative is for smaller contractors who are prepared to build for the government, albeit on a small scale. They will require a mobilization fee and will also be paid in stages. There are three options for the homes, two and three bed options ranging in size from 867 to 1,228 square feet. These two home seekers are ready to settle in. It is a dream, it is a dream that I hope come through. Yes, the process is going smoothly. What is it you hope to achieve? At least um, to leave here to say that I'm pre-approved at least for something. And the houses are really the three um, plans that they have is really nice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the one I think is two, three bedroom, two bath. Mm -hmm. I think that one, the square feet is much, I think it's like 2,020, something like that. But the biggest one there, because I, I have, um, my family is sort of big. Mm -hmm. So how soon can prospects expect work to get started? Pinecrest, we're going to be looking to break the ground on that. I think this Thursday, yeah, this Thursday, they're ready to go. Um, Carmichael, the PPP um, team is also ready to go. But obviously, like I said, we want to make sure our infrastructure work start. So that should be maybe another month or two that we can really give a proper time of when that's going to start. But we're hoping to have some homes turning the keys um, by September of this year. The Department of Housing's open house fair will continue for the remainder of this week. Keish Latterly, ZNS Network News. Hungry and looking for something so satisfying? Something to truly tantalize your taste buds? Then make it Charlie's, the home of the number one cheesesteak in the world. Also serving up a variety of delicious wings, freshly cooked to order under 10 minutes. With two locations to serve you. Mall at Marathon, open from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. And the East West Highway, next to Solomon's, from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. That's Charlie's, the home of the number one cheesesteak in the world. 393-3100.